look, look at these guys right here, man. <sighs> Missing the ship. That's crazy. That's not even the craziest part, though. Look, check this out. Let's see. Uh, he's around here somewhere. Where's he at? Where's he at? Oh. Oh, I see him. There he is right there. Bye-bye. <laughs> oh, man. How crazy is that? Oh, man. You guys don't know. I have been waiting to do an episode on this situation right here. Hey, what's up, guys? How you doing? My name is Justin, and welcome to another fun-filled episode of Ship Life, where I inform, educate, and entertain you guys on the world that is ship life. So in today's episode, we're going to talk about this unfortunate couple that missed their cruise ship while on vacation. We're going to talk about that, and I'm also going to go over the protocol of what happens when you do miss your cruise ship. Are you stranded on the island? Do you get to be flown home by the cruise line? How does that work? We're going to go over all that just a tiny bit more in today's episode. So without further ado, let's get started, shall we? Let's go! Alright guys, so for this video, I'm going to keep it real simple, nice and cut and dry for you and break it down into three parts. So, first we're going to talk about this unfortunate couple that missed their Royal Caribbean cruise ship while they were in one of the ports and allegedly had one of the crew members waving goodbye with a sign. All right, we're gonna talk about that. After that, I'm gonna tell you guys about my personal experience of people, passengers, both passengers and crew, missing the ship while I was doing my contracts as an entertainer aboard cruise ships. After that, guys, I'm gonna go over the protocol as far as what happens when you do miss your ship. Are you stranded? Do you get help? What's the protocol? What happens as far as you getting back home? I'm going to go over all that, so we're going to go ahead and get right into it. So make sure you guys stick around for the entire video. Now first, let's talk about this couple, alright? Guys, I, man, I, I can't stress this enough. If you guys miss your ship, you are straight up, you're not very smart. Honestly, you're a pretty idiotic person if you miss the ship. I don't mean to be a bad guy, I don't mean to be rude, but I'm just being honest with you guys. You're an idiot if you miss the ship because you have plenty of time, plenty of time to schedule whatever it is you need to schedule, do whatever it is you need to do. Now, this couple, they're probably one of the couples which happens to be very common. You're probably one of the groups of people that decide to leave and get off the ship finally at like 5.30 p.m. when the ship leaves, leaves at 8 p.m. Um, they think that the world seems to run around them, which is not the case. Um, but another common misconception I seem to get a lot, I mentioned this in my video that I did about two weeks ago. Um, I know a lot of people are speculating that they missed, apparently, you know, they missed a, uh, or had trouble with an excursion that they were on. And here's the thing about excursions, guys. I, I mentioned this in my video. You can get cheaper excursions by getting off the ship and talking to the locals. And, but, uh, you know, a lot of people, they, they book on the, uh, the ship. They book with the cruise line. Now, the misconception is that people that book with the, with the cruise line won't miss the ship if, if something goes wrong, which is not true. Um, and they'll apparently miss the ship if they book with the locals because they're not covered or insured or protected by the cruise line. That's not true, guys. I just want to jump on that real quick just so you guys know. I can almost guarantee you that there is a 100% chance that it was just negligence. They didn't have trouble with an excursion. Now, um, what ended up happening is apparently there was some guy with a giant sign waving to them uh, by. Now they were on a ship, a uh, Royal Caribbean ship called uh, Symphony, Symphony of the Seas, or sorry, that was Freedom of the Seas that they were on, that was uh, waving goodbye to them. Now um, that's, what, that's what the rumor is, that's what's happening right now, but um, a lot of people are saying that it was their sister ship that they, they, were, they were waving to with the giant hand, um, Anthem of the Seas, which is probably a little bit more likely, but nobody can say for sure. Honestly, I have friends that are currently working on both ships. Um, I'm a dancer, so a lot of my friends are dancers as well, and being out of Florida, I have a lot of friends that are typically work on cruise ships. They don't know what the facts either as of yet, but it is a uh, funny joke going around. It's a pretty big deal, but it's also very, very funny. Um, so yeah, that's what's happening with this couple. Um, no way, it, there's no way, shape, or form they aren't idiots. They just happened to miss the ship and it was probably just negligence on their end. Now, we're going to go ahead and jump on what I've experienced while working on the cruise ship as an entertainer. So during my contract as a crew member on cruise ships, I've seen this happen on three separate occasions. 
Two of them were uh, just happened to be couples, and one of them happened to be a crew member, which was a very close friend of mine. So the thing is, guys, you have to understand that this isn't uh, an uncommon thing. It does happen quite frequently. I believe Royal Caribbean alone, even with this particular situation, I believe they reported that it's already happened, I think like 10, 10 different times on 10 different occasions with this cruise line. And you can't even imagine what's happening worldwide with the hundreds of cruise ships that are, are floating around out there. It's a very common thing. But you're still not very smart if you let this happen. Now, the thing is, guys, with this situation, um, the cruise lines will not wait for you. I know a lot of people, again, they think the world seems to revolve around them, which is not true. Um, so these couples, you know, they got left behind, which I'm going to explain in a minute what ended up happening to them. I saw it firsthand as we were leaving. It was honestly pretty funny. And again, it's your fault if it happens. There is no if, ands, or buts about it. It's just pure negligence. Now, these couples got left behind. My friend in particular, for example, we just happened to be in Port Canaveral. She's a, uh, a dancer for the ship. And, uh, you know, we, we, we knew each other pretty well. I've known her a couple years, even prior to working on the ship. I know a lot of people that work on these cruise lines just because I'm a dancer, again, from Florida. It's, it's a very common thing. But what happened was uh, she went to go visit her family out in Port Canaveral, lost track of time, and got into some traffic, and she ended up missing the ship. The ship was headed to, I believe we were headed to, uh, what, from Port Canaveral to the Bahamas. We were heading to Nassau. And uh, thankfully for her, we didn't have any shows. But she just happened to have to buy her plane ticket. She, out of her own pocket, she paid for a plane ticket to meet us in uh, the Bahamas before her next show. So she got lucky there. But again, guys, the ship won't wait for you. You gotta understand, the cruise lines have to pay for these this dock time that they're at these uh, these ports. And I believe it can get pretty pricey. I think somebody told me that it's like ten thousand dollars per late minute that you're in dock. All right. So obviously, it doesn't matter if it's one or five people. The ship is not trying to pay that money. They're trying to make a profit, so they're obviously not gonna wait. So either you're gonna have to figure out your own way, which I'll explain in a minute how that goes down, or shoot, you better get to swimming. One of the two. So that's my personal experience with the situation, guys. Now let's get on to my final part of my video, which I'm gonna explain to you the policy and what goes down as far as getting left behind on cruise lines. Look, if you're stranded, guys, straight up, there is no help for you. Um, you're on your own, sorry, not sorry. You know, that's just the way it is. No, I'm just kidding. Guys, so here's the thing. If you're stranded out, you know, you're left behind by one of the ships. Again, it may be your fault, but again, the cruise line is technically responsible for you. So I don't know if you guys noticed in the video, but there is a uh, man on like a Segway or something like that out there in the suit with the, uh, the, the unfortunate guest that missed the ship. So that's a norm, guys. At every port, there is some kind of agent from the, uh, the cruise line or the port that is in charge of dealing with situations such as this. It's unfortunate, but of course, guys, like I said, it isn't as uncommon as people might believe. It does happen quite often. Um, this agent that's there is basically assigned to handle situations. So basically what will happen is if you guys happen to miss the ship, this guy is uh, responsible for basically making sure you guys are right, make sure you guys get to where you need to get to. Now, uh, obviously, you guys will probably need to fly somewhere wherever the ship is going. Hopefully, um, you know, you guys would have fingers crossed that the ship you know, you just didn't end up at the uh, last port before the ship goes back home. If you guys have a uh, another destination, let's say I think this couple was in St. Martin or something like that. It's a very beautiful port, by the way. Uh, they have to be flown to wherever the next port is, which is probably going to be somewhere around the, uh, the Caribbean. Um, you're responsible for that airfare. You're responsible for the airfare. You're responsible for any fees that may occur while you're, uh, you know, getting to where you need to get to. All right, you're responsible for the taxes, you're responsible for the airfare, you're responsible for whatever else, all right? Um, now, in this situation, you guys are responsible, but here's the thing. Keep this in mind, guys. If you're going off the ship, try to get as much personal information as you can. You don't need your belongings, but if you don't, uh, you know, if you don't have your, your, say, your passport information memorized because you know, the ship will have your passport, if you don't have your information memorized, if you don't have any other, uh, let's say, social security, anything like that memorized, write it down and keep it with you because you'll need all that information. Now, typically if you're on, let's say you're out in the Caribbean and your ship is going to another destination in the Caribbean, you typically don't need your passport. Even though it's a technically like another country, you won't. But let's say in the situation where the ship is going from, let's say uh, Ireland over to the US, you would need your passport. If you don't have your passport, unfortunately, which you probably wouldn't in a situation like that, 
the uh, embassy has to get involved, the government has to get involved, and it's a little bit more of a process. It can be completely problematic for you, and you will be responsible for all the fees. Now, the only exception to that would be is if, you, if you're in somewhere, let's say like the UE, you're going from like Spain to like Finland or something like that. Um, you're, you're in the UE, you won't need your passport again, they'll take care of it. Now, what happens if, for example, you don't have the funds to cover the travel expenses and all the fees that will occur? Because there will be a lot of fees being that there is a lot of moving parts to getting somebody back to where they need to be. Um, you know, the agent and whoever's involved government, they'll, they'll you know, go ahead and front this, this cash or they'll just front your airfare, they'll pay for all these expenses. But of course, you will now be in, indebted to the cruise line, to the agent, whoever was involved, which is an unfortunate situation. But again, a lot of people don't really plan to be left behind. It's just poor timing, guys. So anyway, um, that's the situation. Um, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up. I have nothing left to say about the situation, guys. At the end of the day, just don't be those people. If you're going to you know, go out and explore, make sure you time everything, all right? Be on time. Don't miss the ship. And uh, you'll be all right. You'll be Gucci. You'll be good. So again, I'm going to wrap this video up, guys. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, as always, hit me up in the drop box below. What do you guys think about the situation as well? Let's talk about it below as well. Um, you guys want to contact me, hit me up in my uh, Instagram. I'll leave the link. Or not the link. I'll leave my, uh, my name above. Also, I'll leave my email below. If you guys found this video enjoyable and you want to see more content like this, please go ahead and hit that like button. Helps with the YouTube algorithm. And also hit that subscribe button as well. I do weekly videos. And uh, hopefully you guys stick around. I appreciate the support. And uh, until next week, I'll see you guys later. You take it easy.